Hey guys, and welcome back to Time Shift Gaming with Chill Your Ponies. And, um, so, pretty much what I have for you is things you might not know how to do in Minecraft. Like, for instance, right now, I am growing some trees with some bone meal, which is pretty cool. And I love, you know, finding all this random stuff for you guys, so in a way it's useful, and other times it's not. So, hopefully you will find it, um, enjoying, and, you know, maybe interesting, and maybe you can show your friends, you can be like, hey, you know, I found this really cool stuff, and they'll be all jealous of you, because like, well, you're so cool, like, how did you do that? Like, yes, they'll be jealous of you. And so, it's pretty cool, and, uh, it's a one that I really like, because I like to go trees everywhere. And the next one I have is, um, if you take some color dye, put it on a sheep, and hit the sheep, you will, um, the sheep won't only change color, it will also, um, give you some wool. And you'll get one to three things of wool. Next one I have for you is if you go under water and dig yourself a hole, everyone knows that you drown in water. So, you always have to come back for air eventually, because, you know, it's Minecraft and you have to breathe, apparently. So, you go back up and you go back and breathe. But there's a way you can fix that. If you go back in your hole and you get some ladders, all you have to do then is put the ladder above you and it creates a little air pocket for you so you can breathe and explore underwater. But don't be like me and try to be, you know, cool and go underwater and try to drown yourself again. That is not a good thing. So all you gotta do is figure out, you know, put ladders all around you, eventually you'll find your way out. But the bad thing about this is that you can't use the ladders to climb back up. That's the only bad thing about this. But the cool thing is, is that you're underwater, and so that's pretty cool. You can breathe underwater, which usually doesn't happen often. So that's pretty cool. The next one that I have for you is that you can stack up fences, which, um, pretty useless, unless, you know, you have, want to make something out of fences, which I don't know why, but if you want to make things out of fences, you go right ahead. So what you, all, what you gotta do is stack up some dirt, and you gotta put the fences on top of the dirt. So you have to work from top to bottom, not from bottom to top. It doesn't work like that. It won't work if you try to do it on the top. So pretty much all you gotta do is just keep going, and eventually you will have a complete fence-looking wall. And, um, it's not really the most useful thing, but it's there, you know, so you can pretty much mess around with it. And the next one I have for you sort of goes along with this in the sense that you still use fences and dirt. And you still work from top to bottom. And this one, what you get to do is you get to actually um, stack up the poles of the fences. So it's not just the fence you're using, you're using the poles as well. So another cool thing too is that you can, um, this one's more useful than the fences in the sense that you can, you know, put some wood on top of it and a torch and you can make a fancy street lamp which is another really cool thing. The last thing I have for you is you get some flint and steel and you put it on a little pig, like I'm trying to do over here, if the pig would stop moving for a little bit, is um, try to burn the pig. And uh, in the process, I accidentally burned the cow, which I feel really bad for. Sorry, cow, I didn't mean to burn you there. But anywho, you go and put the fire out, you go look at the pig, and it creates a pork chop, and it's cooked, so it's not a raw one. So, um, thank you for watching, and I will have more videos for you eventually. Peace out.